what I think is so wonderful about the shape article is that you have come to terms with, this is who I am, and I'm not trying to be a girl anymore. Well, no matter what you say and no matter what you do, the reality is, this is what you are. Yeah. People can say you look 30 or yeah. you could lie and say you're 42, but in the end, you're the age you really are, so yeah. what, it's, come on. Yeah. And so how did you get to that? Because also, uh, you've been pretty open about the fact that when you actually turned 40, around that time, you went in the bathroom, looked in the mirror with a magnifying, I hate those magnifying mirrors. I've hated them at every age, but you look in the mirror. I appreciate them now because I can't see without them. <laughs> <laughs> but you looked in the magnifying mirror and had a good cry with a bottle of wine. Is that true? Yeah, I cried and I accepted myself. It wasn't all just a sad cry. It was just that, that shedding and accepting that I wasn't the thing I was before. Yeah. And it's important to say, you know, this is how I am right now. And how, how's that working for me? right now. You know what, I often wondered, I've had conversations um, during the years of the Oprah show with women about growing older, and very few were really honest about it, but I remember a time when Sybil Shepherd said that she remembered walking across the street and could feel a shift in the, the way men looked at her versus the way <laughs> or men, don't look or, at you. <laughs> or don't look at you. Yes, that she could feel yes. feel that difference. Did that yes. ever happen? Did that happen to you? Has that oh, happened to you? Of course. Yeah. And a, particularly in in Los Angeles where there's a certain shallowness about only if you're 20 or you know that hen swing is for that for the just a kid. Yeah. You know, and I think you have to have a certain sense of humor yeah <laughs> and a sense of why are they looking at that person and who is it that's looking at that person